Hi, this is Carl Polichuk, and this is another SOP video for Manny Service Providers. As fall travel season comes, I wanted to just do a different kind of video and talk a bit about your electrical needs as you travel the globe. So the first thing you need to know is <clears throat> not everybody does it the way you do it. <laughs> so there's a kind of outlet that just works primarily in Europe, which is cool. Uh, usually not grounded, not sure what's up with that. Remember, it's gonna be about 230 volts. Then we have the US or North American version, usually 110, 115 volts. At a little angle there, you see, you've got the Australian version. And then of course, in the UK, you've got this big monstrous thing. This is about the smallest UK plug you're ever gonna find. Normally, they're more like that. So, and it used to be that I traveled with this delightful little box and this is from best tech and what it does is it you have a power cord that it comes with that's got the european plug so if you plug that in here you can put three us devices on this plus four usb ports and this is powered it's transferred the electricity from about 230 down to 115 and it's got a fan and it's awesome this is an amazing thing for traveling and I've used it for a long time but I don't need it anymore and uh, let me just tell you why so it, it comes with all these adapters so that you can plug it in and then whichever one you need right you put it into this cord and then you can plug it in in any country so that's all cool. But in my travels, I have picked up a handful of devices. This one is for Australia and uh, New Zealand that has a USB connector. So I can plug that right in the wall and charge my USB devices. This one has the UK plugs and it also will charge the USB devices. If you get just an adapter, like if you get something like this where it's got the UK on one side and North America on the other, you have to remember this is not going to uh, change the current. So you'll be putting 230 volts into your North American device. So sometimes that's okay, sometimes it's not. It depends on what the device is. So you need to be very careful. So when you look at your computer, you probably have seen this. You got your electrical cord, one end goes in the computer, the other end goes in the wall, all right? Everybody's got one. And when you look at this device, you'll notice that it says that it converts an input of anywhere from 110 to 230 volts. So this device, if you take one side off, you've got a plug like that, you can use a cord from any country and it will be safe to use this as the power supply for your computer. So what I've done since then is I got me a European plug with the European plug on one side and this kind of an outlet on the other, plugs right into my HP power supply, $6 on Amazon. And then I have one for Australia, exactly the same thing. One for the UK. So now when I travel, unless I'm going to different continents, I just pay, take the one cord that I need for that country, plug it into my power brick on my laptop, and then I've got, I take whichever one of these USB connectors I need, and that's all I need. Like literally, that's all I need to travel. I no longer have to have all this other stuff. Now, uh, you know, you gotta have a, a cord for every continent, but that's not the worst thing in the world but you only have to travel with the one that you actually need. Plus, my laptop now has, uh, I think, three or four USB outlets. So once I'm charging my laptop, I'm totally good to go with charging from the USB on the laptop. So that's, it has worked out really well. There are also some of these universal chargers that you can buy. And I basically, I have this and I never travel with it. You have to remember, if it's small like this, 
it will not convert that electricity. All it's doing is converting from one size plug to another size plug. That's all it does. So you have to remember that even if you set this up so that you can plug it into a wall in Europe and then you can plug your laptop into it, that's cool as long as your laptop is rated for that 230 volts. Now, if you had something like this, you don't have to have the conversion uh, for your laptop. You don't need to worry about this cord. You could plug the American cord into that. Just remember, don't plug your razor into it. Don't plug the charger for your uh, batteries for your camera into it, right? There's a lot of things. All you have to do is make sure that you know the rating and the voltage range for whatever you're plugging in and understand that none of this comes with the surge protector. So, you know, be careful out there, but simplify your life. And remember, you can just buy these cords on Amazon for any country for about six bucks. Or if you need, if you happen to know an IT pro in another country, just say, hey dude, I'm gonna be in town. Is there any chance you can get me one of those uh, pigtails that works in your continent? And I'll give you, you know, five bucks. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. Like it if you like it, share it with your friends, and absolutely subscribe to the channel.